I'm speechless right now. We're going to go test out this pink miracle. It's supposed to work. It's supposed to do its job. I'm excited. I'm scared. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? My name is DJ and if you did not know, this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now obviously you can tell from the topic, these things are insanely thrashed and I went out and did this premeditated murder. Oh my gosh. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're old, what's up with you? How you doing? Bruh, I know I'm crazy, I'm sorry, but I had to do it because we gotta try out this Pink Miracle shoe cleaner and see if it actually works. So I'm gonna do one shoe at a time and then we're gonna see the before and after so that way you guys can see the difference between the two and uh, let's get into it. All right, first step, let's get these laces out, put them in the solution and let those sit for a while and then we're gonna go outside and start banging them off. Try to get as much dirt as we can off of the shoes before we start the cleaning process. As you can see, there is a lot of dirt already on these things. It is like stuck in here. This is crazy. It's knotted up in here. All right, now that we have the laces off, you can see all the dirt that already just came off just from that, but we're gonna stick these in the bowl. I already got the solution ready. It's pretty warm. So I'm gonna dunk these in here. Switch them around a little bit. You see the dirt is already starting to come off. So we're gonna let those sit in there for a while actually. Let's go outside. We gotta get the dirt off of these joints. back all right so the shoe is looking better it's in a better condition than it was earlier but we still got a long way to go so what i'm gonna do right now is try to get the bigger dirt chunks off with this suede eraser right here and then from there i'm gonna start putting the solution on and start scrubbing the shoe so let's get started with that Okay, so we got most of the big chunks off of the shoe now and it's time to get to work. So what I'm gonna do is get this brush all the way wet with the water and then I'm going to put the solution onto it. And then I'm gonna start scrubbing in a circular motion on the shoe. So you can see it's very dirty inside right there. This is ridiculous, man. We're gonna have a long way to go. Sheesh, what did I get myself into? Okay, so we have the first round complete. This is definitely gonna take another coat. You can see some dirt on the edges around the seams and stuff like that. So it's definitely gonna need another scrubbing. So let's go ahead and get to the outsole. Let this dry for a little bit and then we'll go ahead and get right back into scrubbing the rest of this shoe. So the outsole is definitely coming back to life. I'm liking that, I'm digging that. Let's go ahead and give it a couple more scrubs and then uh, get back to the upper. It's looking solid right now. Um, I can see a little bit of dirt in some of these cracks, so I'm gonna hit it one more time real gently. Uh, just a little bit back here, a little bit in the front, and then uh, we're gonna let this thing dry up and see what it looks like, and then go from there. I might clean these insoles out, actually, because I've seen that there was some dirt on these. Oh yeah, the insoles are definitely dirty. So I'm gonna have to take this out and clean this as well. So let's go do that, and then we'll come back and touch this one up. And just like that, the insoles are clean again. This stuff is nice. Like I said before, check it out. Link down below in the description if you want to grab this stuff. But let's go ahead and get back into the shoe. Hey, and if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the algorithm. So let's go ahead and uh, finish these things up. Okay, so for on these crack areas, I'm going to use the toothbrush just to try to get in these little cracks where the dirt might be seeping around the midsole. Try to get that out of there. 
Okay, so the shoe is pretty much clean right now. All I can do right now is let it dry and then I'll be back to see what it looks like. And then if I have to do any more cleaning from there, we will, or I'll hit it with a dry eraser and go from there. So let's let this thing sit and I'll be right back. One eternity later. All right, so we are back and we let these things dry overnight. And honestly, I'm telling you right now, they are looking mighty fine. I am actually very, impressed with this one so we still need to take a couple steps with the suede and i'm gonna hit it with the eraser brush brush the suede down so i can make sure that it's soft again and then that we can get that nice suede fingerprint inside there as well and then i got these dirty laces right here gotta get these cleaned out and rinsed out i let these sit as you can see there's a bunch of dirt up in here go ahead and dry these things off real quick Look at all that dirt still in there. All right, we're gonna let these dry right here on the back of the chair. Yeah, we're almost done, so stick around. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, do all those things. What I'm gonna do is use this eraser on any parts that I think might need just a little bit more TLC. We're gonna hit it with a suede eraser and a brush right here. This is a stiffer bristle brush. This is gonna kind of nap up the suede and get that pattern going back to it and make it soft and plush again. And then after I spray it down here with the mink oil, I'm gonna brush it out again forward backwards to make sure that the pattern is nice on there and I can get that good fingerprint and all those things on there when I touch the suede and go like this. And just already from like that, you can still see it just within going like this. So I'm sure it's gonna get a lot better as we go and we really condition the suede and get it right, get that color back and all those different things. So let's get into it. Oh yeah, see, that's already feeling a lot better. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. We almost there, baby, let's go. <laughs> this is crazy. You gotta hit that tongue, make sure that tongue is real nice and buttery. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, I'm digging it. I feel like it's pretty solid right there. You can definitely see a lot of prints within the suede already just from me doing that. So, the next step, we're gonna have to spray this joint down. Let me clear this off a little bit. Now we're gonna use this mink oil right here. This is nice for the suede. It really takes care of it. People like to use this on suede and leathers. It replenishes the suede, it replenishes the leather. I've tried this once before on a different shoe and it worked really, really well. It took it from looking ashy to really going to that next level. So definitely looking forward to using this on here to bring these back to life. Let's get it. Wipe this midsole down, that way none of it runs onto the shoe and leaves any spot. So you're supposed to wait for five minutes after you do the spraying, and then from there we can go ahead and brush it down and get it all nice and feeling right. So let's give it a sec and we'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, so it's all dry now, so we're gonna hit it with a brush and start getting that suede back in action. We're gonna hit it with a forward, backward motion. So let's go ahead and start with the tongue. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's ready to go. So I'm gonna push everything towards the front of the shoe first, everything forward. Not too much pressure, just kind of brushing the shoe. Now I'm gonna go backwards. That's where you can see the color change, going from light to dark. All right, let's see. <laughs> it's soft, it's buttery. This is nice. Next step, we gotta get these laces in here. It still feel a little wet. So the laces are pretty much ready to go. Let me put my shoe tree in here real quick. And then we can see that final result, man. I think everybody's been anticipating seeing this final result, seeing how it looks compared to the other one. I am excited. I hope you guys are too. I'm gonna tell you right now, you seen it at the beginning of the video. <laughs> I was kind of scared. I'm scared. But now I'm confident. I'm feeling good. I'm happy. I'm liking this. And I still have to clean the other shoe. So <sighs> that's gonna be a whole nother process, but it is what it is. I gotta get through it. <laughs> wow this is crazy i didn't bro, i ain't gonna lie to you i was scared at the beginning i ain't gonna lie this is crazy this is crazy i'm speechless right now again like i said before if you haven't please make sure you go check out the pink miracle shoe cleaner this stuff <laughs> does its job link down below if you want to check this stuff out look at this just look at it are you kidding me like 
my soul was kind of crushed at the beginning but i knew i had to do it i had to be the first one to try this so i had to just go ahead and do it i had to make it happen but it worked it worked it worked it worked <laughs> Oh man, drop a comment down below. Let me know how you guys think I did, bro. I'm just honestly in awe right now. I did it. This is crazy right now. Like I'm actually like, you see, I'm grinning from ear to ear right now. This is crazy. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. You already know what to do. Drop some comments down below. And like I said before, hit the like button. Unfortunately, that's how the algorithm works. But when you hit that like button, it really helps the video out a whole heap, man. So I really appreciate you guys' support, your love, everything like that. This stuff, like, really shout out to the Pink Miracle, bro. What the hell? <laughs> All right. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, share this to you guys' as homies and tell them, like, bro, he really did this. He went to the no man's land and came back with a fresh pair. Oh, my gosh. Wow. All right, y'all. I'm out.